Hello, this is Jimmy Blevins. Today I'm going to show you how to add a slider to a web page using the Divi Visual Builder. So let's go ahead and pop in our slider module. And the way that this works is you've got your items here. So first off, we're going to need to add a couple, a couple items. Um, I'm just going to type in some random stuff. So I know the image I want to use. Now here's, for me, this is where this gets a little confusing. So you've got your background image and you've got your slide image. Now, the difference is, I'm going to use this picture of this little boat here in a cove, right? So this goes with my heading, there's the boat, and there's my, there's my background image. Now, I can, I can mess with background position and background image size. And what this does, and you can play around with this if you if you want, is this kind of just positions the background image. So right now it's on default, which I, I think is centered. So what the image is centered, even though you can't see, you know, like the top and the bottom of it. So if I was to do like bottom center, you know, you'll see more of the bottom of the image. But I like to leave it at default. So we've got image size, and you can set this to be like the actual size of the image to cover. You can have it fit in the slide like this. But here's where this gets confusing in my opinion because if I put a slide image in, if I pick the same image, you notice it pops the image in here and then the text over here. So, you know, I would normally use this as just a photo slider, um, but there's a little more functionality in this. It's not as robust as like the slider revolution that comes bundled with the Mosaic platform. Um, but this is, if you just want to put a simple, you know, just a quick slider on something, this is the way to do it. You can also use these for a call to action. Um, if you want something that's got a little bit more features than your regular call to action, because it works pretty much the same way. You know, we can add a button to this. for people to be able to click in, here's where you put your URL in. So I'm gonna leave that, that'll be like our first slide. Uh, we can also put some text in there if you want to. So let's go ahead and add another one. So we've got more than one. And let's first off pick, let's pick a background image. And this one I'm just gonna leave as the leave as the image. I wonder if we can actually go to our, there we go. So now I can see what I'm working on. So there's my picture. Put in a little header. Like I said, these work great for call to action, which is kind of how I'm setting it up. And we can put in our URL. I'm gonna leave this without a slide image. You know, for me, this is what I would want. I would want a picture with a little bit of text in it, and then I can just click on to the next one, and then the next one, or I can have them automatically rotate through. Works pretty well. So we can get into the design. I'm not going to go through the design on every single one, um, but you can you can do customize each slide, which we don't need to do. These we can we can do here in our regular design settings. These are going to be global for all slides. So if you're really looking to change, um, you know, like your letter spacing, the, your colors, custom styles for your button, I, I would say this would be the place to do it instead of doing it on each individual slide as you go along. So here's where we have our controls. I can turn these arrows on and off and these are just, when I mouse over, you see these arrows here. Um, the controls show these little dots down here. So right now I can click on a dot to go directly to a slide and I can turn that off right here. I can have an automatic automatic animation. This just turns it on so that as soon as I pull up the web page, it's automatically rotating through the slides. I don't have to, you know, go to the next go to the next thing and we can change how long a slide lasts here. Continue automatic slide on hover. This is when I'm hovering it, it'll pause it. So it's not going to go to the next thing, but I can actually have it go to the next thing if I if I want to. Um, parallax effect, that's just going to make it so when the page scrolls, the background image 
Um, it has a little bit of a parallax effects to it. Uh, we can get rid of the inner shadow and we can also set here our default position for our background image and image size. So again, you can set these global things for your slider. You don't have to go in and tweak each individual setting for each individual picture. That pretty much covers all the options we've got here in our slider module. Once again, my name is Jimmy Blevins and thank you so much for watching.